Hello everybody, I'm Jims McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello, hello, hello. We have a lot of team leaks coming out fast and furious. We're going to break them down one by one. We're going to start this one off with the Chaos Chosen team. Jim, walk us through the changes. Hello, hello everybody. Yes, uh, so first of all, the hilarious thing is the fact that they're called Beastman Runner Lineman. <laughs> <laughs> Now, maybe that's because they've got passing on on the secondary. Maybe that's a r characteristic of a runner, but it seems a bizarre naming uh, name for them, doesn't it? It uh, sure seems like a qualifier they've been using. Uh, linemen are all of your 0 to 16 or 0 to 12s. Runners are people with passing, at, you know, uh, passing access, so on and so forth. Yeah, so Beastman, so they're still 60k. They're still 6338, effectively. <laughs> 9 plus now. Um, they have got slightly worse at passing, which is what you would expect. And they've still got general mutation strength. And they've still got passing on secondary, unlike a lot of teams, and still got horns. So they're basically unchanged. Um, All right. It looks like a big list of big guys. Uh, we can only have one of them, though. Which one do you like the most? And, uh, you know, what happened to our Minotaur? Uh, and uh, who are these new guys, Jim? Well, you skipped chosen blockers there, Gorilla. Um, they've, they've got substantially worse at passing. Now they're, now they're passing on the equivalent of the old Agility 1. So they're going to be really bad at getting a cheeky, like you're on MVP and a cheeky completion to level. They're, they're just That's pretty much off the table for them. So that's a big nerf to them, actually, a subtle big nerf. Um, GMS, A, they don't have passing on doubles anymore. And, uh, yeah, so the big change for the team is that you you get to choose a big guy chosen from one of those three. You can't have all three. You just can just choose one. The Minotaur, it says it's got Unchanneled Fury. That's the name of the skill. It is actually the same as Wild Animal. I'm hearing from my sources that it's just the same as Wild Animal. Um, they're all loan of four. Projectile Vomit is like a two plus to stab somebody. So um, I don't really like it. I guess if you were fighting Morg or something, you could try and vomit on him. <laughs> It seems, it seems really bad. Um, the crucial thing is that all the big guys have mutations on normal, so that's really cool, isn't it? Really, really cool. Um, so mm -hmm. yeah, so you, you really, I think most people are are going to disregard the Minotaur and either go for the Troll because he's cheap, or the Ogre because he's good. <laughs> yeah, and and again, down in those uh, mysterious special rules, favorite of undivided corn Nurgle Slanesh. And since you can add marks to your chaos team, I wonder what this is going to mean. Yeah, very strange, isn't it? And and the the, the special rules for the team, the team special rules, are also determines what uh, what star players will play for you and stuff. That's that's a big part of it. So. Um, gotcha. All right, Jim. Well, I know you've uh, got a long history of playing chaos. What changes now uh, in your? Uh, rookie chaos team build how would you put it together it would be exactly the same <laughs> um, which would be what jim yes which would be eight beast men four eight beast, seven beast men four blockers and three re-rolls um, right so you're not a big fan of the big guys for the uh for for chaos and none of those new ones could tempt you over huh no, I mean, I guess you could argue that you could drop a reroll for the troll, and then you could have a troll, four blockers and six six linemen, six beastmen. I mean, that that would be that would work. That would work. Um, yeah, I mean, you you're want getting a lot of you, you know for for his cost, you're still getting a, a strength five piece there or player. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he does save you a bit of money. That minotaur at one fifty is a hard sell, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess it does at least give you the option for max strength start, um, and then it's, then you're like way better than Nurgle, right? Nurgle Nurgle start was always the beast four warriors, one pestigal, and two rerolls. If you do this two reroll start, you'll be starting with a troll four warriors, and then like six beast men is is way way better than having rotters on the field, isn't it? So yeah. so you could do that as an option. But I wouldn't, and uh, I think I would pick up the troll as the twelfth man, or maybe the ogre. I mean, the ogre, he is faster, isn't he? He is, he is more agile. The, ad the agility doesn't matter much. Bonehead is better than all uh, than really stupid, and thick skull is actually pretty good. Um, 
you know, but obviously so is regen. So it's but so that's the thing, like Troll is cheaper and he has got regen, so it's not like the oak is totally better. So but so yeah, maybe maybe if you so what this is here we go. If you want the troll, start with the troll and two rerolls. If you want the ogre, start with the standard team of four blockers, seven beastmen, three rerolls, and then when you can afford it, get the ogre. Fair enough. All right. Well, that is your chaos chosen team in Blood Bowl 2020. Stick around. Keep an eye out. We're going to be covering all these teams as we find them. Thanks again for having me, Jim. Glorious. Thanks very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.